day of mining, but I found a lot of emeralds today. Oh hey guys, Circle is back with, with another redstone tutorial. This is a request from Calico Beater 2, my YouTubing partner. Alright. What his request was, was a trap. And he also said a door, so I thought I'd do a trap door. And since today is April Fool's Day, I guess it would be a good April Fool's prank. Alright, let's go. Hey, you two. You know, I know it's nighttime, but we got some work to do. So, I'll meet you guys in the lab. What do you mean we can't? We got work to do. What? You're moving out? I mean, why didn't you tell me? We Alright, I guess I'll have to do this alone, and you guys won't be in on the fun. What? <laughs> okay, I guess that was a good one. Alright, well, I'll meet you two in the lab. Hey, Stone. For the main part, you're going to need at least 4 by 10 by 2. Then 2 by 2, and then depending on how deep you want for the part they fall into, then you're going to need to like dig down here, so because you're going to have to reach the other side. And that area is basically like 2 by 4 by 2. Alright. What you're going to need is... 24 redstone dust, 8 repeaters, 12 sticky pistons, and a lever just to make sure it works. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, basically you put the sticky pistons... Oh. Not like that. Uh, give me a second. Basically, you put eight of them down, making sure they face each other. Alright, then, basically... You're also going to need eight blocks of your choice, because it's kind of so cramped down here. I'm going to use emeralds. Basically, put repeaters and make sure... They're set to three. Basically, you have to hit them twice. Put one more block here. And put some redstone dust here. And make sure it's symmetrical. And if you don't know what I mean, just do the exact same thing. Afterwards, uh, all right. Then just connect the dust. All right. Well, that's how you activate. Oh, miss this one. Well, that's how you activate all these pistons. Here it goes. Oof. All right. That's how you activate it with the lever. Now. Time to get, like, the part where it pulls the floor down, because these just retract the stuff once you put the floor down. Alright. Now, put the dust here. Alright. Now put the repeaters here. So that way it will 
will be able to activate all four sticky pistons. And last thing you really gotta do is better just grab some dirt. need like a block here just so you can support yourself when you're putting these S4 pistons down. Make sure there's all, all four of them are sticking upward. Alright, now let me just get rid of this dirt. Oh. Now you put your floor piece here and here and here, and here. Now, here it goes in action. So basically, that's what your floor would look like. Then you just have to basically cover it up. And they basically fall to their doom. Oh, and just for safety precaution, you might want to block off the redstone so that way they don't accidentally mess it up and <laughs> make it so they could get out. Alright. <laughs> I mean, like, if they somehow survive when they get down there. Alright, there are plenty of ways you can use this. Like, let's just say you're trying to get into this room. Like you're hiding something. You just put the redstone desk down here, and then it will lead to this torch that's keeping the door closed. Oops. Very good. Myself out. <laughs> Alright. So, basically the person could be standing on the floor, press the button, then it just quickly happens. Alright. Well, here's another one. Alright. One other way I can think of is using the tripwire. The only catch about this is you're gonna have to, like, make sure your wiring is not accidentally hooked up to this tripwire. <laughs> I accidentally did that. So, you can probably guess the gist of it. Well, the only- the reason why I found out is because I used this dispenser a couple of minutes ago, and it, when, when it kept hitting the tripwire, I ba basically kept, it basically kept making the door work funny, and the zombies kept spawning in. <laughs> I'm just glad you, I'm just glad, I'm just glad Rockagon and Laura is so safe. Look, I'll just show you what it, that looks like for the heck of it. But, you can probably guess how it's supposed to look. And plus I had to call in stone. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I know, I know, I know. Just calm down, Rocky God. But thanks. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, well, here's what it looks like. <laughs> See what I mean? I didn't press the button twice. April Fools, you zombies! <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it for today's video. If you like this video, I hope you do consider subscribing, or at least leaving a like. 
Alright, for today's question of the day, what's your favorite April Fool's prank? Alright, well... And for the question that points the way, like always, what kind of redstone tutorials do you want me to do? Alright, okay. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bada bing! Bada boom! One more thing before we go. If you don't know who this Minecraft skin belongs to, it belongs to a friend of mine known as Helico Beater 2. He's another YouTuber. Remember to watch his Minecraft animations if you ever get the chance.